Do you want to learn how to work with data tables in Power Automate for desktop? Hi Marcelo, and on this tutorial we will learn how to create a data table, also how to insert a row on the data table and how to update or delete a row from a data table. So let's get started by creating a new data table. And so to create a new data table, we'll use an action that allows us to do it easily. So here in actions, let's search for create new data table. And here we can see the action that allows us to create a data table easily. So let's drag this action to our flow. And now let's click here on edit button to define our data table. So here we can see that we have already two columns by default. So to delete a column here, we just have to do right click and then click here on delete column. So to add a new column, we can click on this plus button. And now we have had a new column and to rename the column, we just have to do here a double click. And now I'll put here a name and let's add another column uh, that will be so the age column and now let's add some rows to our data table so we have already here one created by default so here name let's add for example Peter and uh, let's insert age 30 for example and now to add a new row we just have to click here on this plus button now let's add another name and now so the age for example and let's add just another row so here let's add john for example and let's input age so now let's save our uh, that table that we have defined by clicking here on save and now we can see the variable that will be created that will have the name that table we can also edit this name if you want so we can here change the name of our data table variable so uh, i'll just click on save and now uh, if we run our automation our flow uh, will be created at the table with the rows and columns that we have defined on this action. So uh, let's see it. Uh, let's click here on run. And here we can see on flow variables, our variable data table that has three rows and two columns as we have defined. So if we do here double click, we can see uh, the columns that we have created and also the rows that we added to our data table. So now that we have our data table created, let's learn how we can insert a row on our data table during the flow execution. So to insert a row in the data table, we can use the action insert row into data table. And so uh, this action allows us to insert a row into a data table that we indicate. So uh, let's drag this action to our flow after the create new data table. And here, first, we have to indicate the data table uh, where we want uh, to insert to add a new row. So in this case, we'll indicate our data table. So here, let's select our data table variable. And now here we have the choice if we want to add this row at the end of the data table or if uh, before a row index that we can indicate. So in this case, I'll just select end of data table. And now here we have to provide so a list or a data row uh, to insert so uh, a new row to our uh, data table. So let's create a row so here uh, let's use the set variable action to create the variable and this variable will store uh, the row so the values to insert into our data table so let's write this action before the insert row into data table and let's just rename the variable to row 
And now here, we need to define so our row that will be inserted on the data table. So to define here, uh, let's first add here the percentage signs. And now between these two percentage signs, let's open brackets. And now inside of the brackets, we'll define the row values. So it's important to be the values in order. So our first column is the column name. So first we'll define, we'll insert the value for the column name. So to do it, let's open quotes. And, and now inside of the quotes, let's add a name for the column name. So it can be, for example, Sophie, for example. And then let's define the value for the column niche. So after the quotes, let's add a comma. And then let's open quotes again. And let's insert a dash, for example, 20. Uh, so uh, let's save uh, here our variable. And now let's uh, so provide uh, the row that we have defined it here. So to our data table, so here on insert into data table action on new values, let's indicate here our variable row. And let's save. And now let's run and see if it will be added a new row to our data table. So uh, let's click here on run. And as we can see, we have here four rows on our data table, three of them uh, are added here when we create uh, the data table. And now if we do double click here on our data table variable to see the values, we can see that the last row, it's the row that we have defined here on the set variable action and that we have inserted by using the action insert row into data table. So now that we have learned how to create a new data table and insert a row on it, let's learn how we can update a data table row. So to update a data table row, let's uh, here use the action update data table item. And here we can see the action. So let's drag it to our flow. And first, we need to indicate the data table where we want to update certain row. So here, let's indicate our data table. Then uh, we need to indicate uh, the column where we want to update a value. So uh, let's say that we want to update here uh, the second row and we want to change the age to uh, 20, for example. So First, we need to indicate here uh, the column name or index. So we can here say the index one because it's the second column, or we can indicate by the name of the column. So here I'll just indicate the name H. And then here uh, we must indicate the row index. So because it's the second row uh, here, uh, this one. That means that it's the index one. So here, let's indicate one. And now here we can indicate a new value that should be assigned to the row on the column niche. So let's indicate, for example, 25. And let's save. And let's see if uh, this row will be updated to 25 on the column niche. So let's run our flow. And now if we open here our data table variable, we can see that on the second row was updated the age to 25 as we have indicated on this action. And now in last, let's learn how we can uh, delete a row from a data table. So to delete a row from a data table, let's use the action delete row from that table and let's drag it to our flow and first we need to indicate that the table uh, where we want to delete a row so let's select our data table and now uh, let's 
here shows a row. So for example, let's say that we want to indicate that we so let's say that we want to delete the third row, so the row with index 2. So here on the action we need to indicate the index, so let's indicate the index 2. So that means we'll be deleted the third row. And let's see if it will be deleted. So let's run our flow. And as we can see, now we have only three rows after the flow be executed and we can see that was deleted the row that we have indicated here on the action. So if you like this tutorial, please give a thumbs up and also consider to subscribe to the channel and enable the notifications bell so we'll get notified on each tutorial that I want to share on the channel.